Hi, welcome to uh, this week's weekly vlog. Um, lots to sort of talk about this week. Uh, in Westminster, quickly, um, we had the Armed Forces Bill going through Parliament on Monday, um, sort of finishing that off, which introduces flexible working to the Armed Forces, which I think is a good thing. Then we had the Automated and Electric Vehicles Bill. Um, again, a great piece of sort of forward-looking, futuristic legislation about things that are changing uh, in our economy and transport system, so that was uh, that was good. Um, and then on Tuesday we were debating uh, HS2, uh, and Parliament decided to sort of push on with the next leg of HS2 from Birmingham up to Manchester. Uh, and then on Wednesday we had um, probably the the most contentious debate of the parliamentary week, which was the one on the restoration and renewal of the Palace of Westminster. And um, I sort of I have taken the view that we should be seeking the path of least cost on this and many people would argue that the cheapest way to do it is for everybody to just get out and let the workmen get on. But the more and more that I read into it, the more and more concerned I became that actually we don't fully understand what the costs of a full decant are. Um, and that actually it wasn't quite as cut and dried as has been presented. Um, as it happens, it doesn't matter, um, although the vote was very close. Uh, the number of people who thought that we should just leave and let the workmen get on with it uh, exceeded those of us who thought that a bit more work might be required before we made that decision. Um, and we'll now see what the House of Lords say when they worry about that in, uh, in a couple of weeks' time. Uh, the building over the road from where I'm sat right now is one of the most beautiful in the world. It's iconic and it's one of the things that people travel the earth to come and see here in London. And I think we do have a responsibility to, to fix it up, obviously. Um, and... I think it matters that Parliament continues to be here, not necessarily whilst the work's being done, but there's a lot of people who are concerned that Parliament might never come back. Um, for some, that would be a good thing. They think that we need a new modern debating chamber where everybody has a seat and a desk and a computer and we all vote electronically. I don't think that that is an enhancement on the sort of Parliament we have right now, which allows sort of real scrutiny and puts ministers under pressure and you know, and, and, you know and, and we are famous for around the world. This is the mother of parliaments. But we'll see what goes forward on that. Um, other things we've been doing this week, um, I went along to a fascinating thing that Centric had put on, um, which showed that sort of in Mendip and Sedgemoor, there are small businesses that are paying maybe like 10 million pounds a year more than they should be on their energy bills because they haven't got the right energy efficiency measures in place. Um, so I thought that was a really interesting thing from Centrica. I've got some stats. I'm going to try and share that with local businesses through the press um, back home um, because that's a big saving for businesses to be seeking to make. Um, and then uh, finally, the merger between the Western Area Health Trust and the Bristol Hospital, Bristol University Health Trust. Um, too early to say exactly what that means at this stage that two trusts have only said that they're going to sort of formally move forward with looking at what it how it might work my gut instinct though is it's a good thing um, the challenge for western is it's the smallest hospital trust in the country and i think that it will be much better off partnered with a bigger trust where there are economies of scale to be gained there are staff that can be pulled um, and i think that if we think about some of the challenges that western hospital has had over recent years I think there's a strong argument that some of those challenges could have been reduced or indeed removed altogether had Western been in a partnership with uh, with one of the other big trusts. So personally, I intend to be supporting it, but uh, we'll be keen to see the detail as and when it emerges. Um, that's enough for me. Um, but uh, if you enjoy these vlogs, do please pass them on to your friends, family, neighbours, colleagues, whoever you think might be interested. Uh, it's great to see how many people are signing up to receive them. Um, but... Um, you know, people tell me they like to hear what I'm up to and uh, if you think that others might be interested too then do please share. Thanks.